Good morning. So uh, I'd like to uh, welcome the offering. Thank you for having me. Uh, we went this over this yesterday. Uh, we talked about this young lady whose the top third of the nose is straight, middle third you can, is a step off, angulates to her right. She had a, had a broad nasal tip with bifidity. There's asymmetry of the, of the domes, and you can see the climel is tilted off to her right side. I uh, see just about the appropriate amount of nostril, so I would anticipate the nasolabial angle to be appropriate. Uh, Sedimental view confirms the angulation of the septum. You can see it first angles to her um, left and back to the right, which uh, would make me anticipate a deviation of the septum to the right internally, which it is when I examined her yesterday in the clinic. Um, slightly boxy tip. Uh, profile, uh, the dorsum actually is fairly straight, but since her tip is, is markedly overprojected, uh, we'll need to reduce that dorsum in addition to reducing tip projection. Uh, but I want to maintain my nasolabial angle. So since I'm doing a significant deep projection, as my options uh, for a significant deep projection would be the medial crew overlay or lateral. The lateral would rotate her nose too much. The medial, um, if you read Russ Cradell's work, he tells you that derotates through the nose, but I actually disagree because if you look at the inclination, of the medial crura, they actually are parallel to the caudal septum in most patients. So that should give me a deep projection without affecting tip rotation. Uh, the length of the nose, I think, is, is adequate. And the other profile is, is pretty much the same. Uh, the three-quarter views, which I had, we reviewed those yesterday, confirms the, uh, the roundness and the broad lateral crura she has. Also on those pictures, which uh, uh, can be seen better in person uh, than on the photos, are uh, deep alar creases. And almost actually, if you, if you can zoom in uh, with my laser point, I'll show you here, you can see the lateral crura actually do curl into the nasal vestibule. So if we do dome sutures and we don't support those lateral crura, that will impinge on our external nasal valve. So we'll improve our septum, but by without, if we not support this with lateral crura strut grafts, we can actually uh, cause further compromise of our breathing. Uh, any questions? Uh -huh. I think it's rather clear. It's a challenging nose. Um, we see also little facial asymmetry, and I think the chin is not the most perfect chin for the profile. But you focus now on the nose. Yeah. Right. And actually, I, I mentioned I, my first inclination is my fellow said the same thing when I showed him the pictures back in the States that she has actually a flat chin. But we look at overall face, it's really a much, a very prominent premaxilla. So if you did uh, cephalometrics, I wouldn't be surprised if you find the chin actually is, is in alignment. And so technically, uh, she probably would need bimaxillary uh, pushback with Lafort 1 and maybe a small chin implant, but her biggest issue really is, is, is in the mid-face. That's rather clear. So um, 